Have you ever heard the phrase, once in a blue moon? It means something that happens very rarely or almost never. But did you know that there is actually a real astronomical phenomenon called a blue moon? And that it is happening very soon, on August 30th, 2023. But this is not only a blue moon, it is also a supermoon, and it will be the biggest and brightest full moon of the year. Additionally, the ringed planet Saturn will be visible alongside it in the night sky. If you are curious about all these events, then you are in the right place. In this video, we will explore everything you need to know about the blue moon of August 2023 and why it is so special. We will also give you some tips on how to observe it and enjoy its beauty. So stay tuned and get ready to be amazed by the wonders of the moon. A full moon is when the moon is on the opposite side of the Earth from the sun, and we can see its entire face lit up by the sunlight. This happens about once every month, because the moon takes about 29.5 days to go around the Earth in its orbit. However, most calendar months are longer than 29.5 days, so sometimes there are two full moons in one month, especially if the first one happens in the first few days of the month. This is what we call a blue moon. The name has nothing to do with the actual color of the moon, although some rare atmospheric conditions can make it look blue. The origin of the term is unclear, but some sources say that it comes from the Old English word belewe, which means to betray. This is because the extra full moon would mess up people who used to follow the lunar calendar for religious or agricultural purposes. Blue moons are not very common, but they are not extremely rare either. They happen about once every 2.7 years, on average. The last one was on October 31, 2020, which was also Halloween night. However, the next one will be on August 30, 2023, which will be the only blue moon of 2023. There is another way to define a blue moon, which is based on seasons rather than months. A seasonal blue moon is the third full moon in a season that has four full moons. A season is usually three months long and has three full moons, but sometimes there are four due to the variation of the lunar cycle and the solar year. A seasonal blue moon is less frequent than a monthly blue moon, happening about once every 2.9 years on average. The last one was on May 18, 2019, and the next one will be on November 21, 2024. So now you know what a blue moon is and how it happens. But wait, there's more. The blue moon of August 30, 2023 will not be just any ordinary blue moon. It will also be a supermoon, which means that it will be bigger and brighter than usual in the sky. How is that possible? And what does it mean for us and our planet? Let's find out in the next section. You may have noticed that the moon does not always look the same in the sky. Sometimes it is bigger and brighter, and sometimes it is smaller and dimmer. This is because the moon is not always at the same distance from Earth in its orbit. The moon's orbit around Earth is not a perfect circle, but rather an oval shape that has two points. One where it is farthest from Earth, called apogee, and one where it is closest to Earth, called perigee. The distance between Earth and the Moon varies from about 363,000 km at perigee to about 405,000 km at apogee. A supermoon is when a full moon happens when the Moon is at or near perigee, making it appear larger and brighter than usual in the sky. The opposite of a supermoon is a micromoon, which is when a full moon happens when the Moon is at or near apogee making it appear smaller and dimmer than usual. Supermoons are more common than blue moons, happening about three or four times per year on average. However, not all supermoons are equally super. Some are closer and bigger than others, depending on how well they align with perigee. The closest and biggest supermoon of the year is called a perigee syzygy, or a proxygy moon. The farthest and smallest supermoon of the year is called an apogee syzygy or an apogee moon. The difference between these two extremes can be as much as 14% in diameter and 30% in brightness. The supermoon of August 30, 2023 will be a perigee syzygy, meaning that it will be the closest and biggest full moon of 2023. It will also be a blue moon, making it even more special. 
So what are the effects of a supermoon on Earth? A supermoon can have some noticeable effects on Earth, especially on its oceans and crust. The most obvious effect is the change in the tides, which are caused by the gravitational pull of the moon and the sun on Earth. When the moon is closer to Earth, its gravitational pull is stronger, and when it is aligned with the sun, their combined pull is even stronger. This results in higher than normal high tides and lower than normal low tides, which are called spring tides. When the moon is farther from Earth, its gravitational pull is weaker, and when it is at right angles to the sun, their combined pull is weaker. This results in lower than normal high tides and higher than normal low tides, which are called neap tides. A supermoon can cause more extreme spring tides, which can affect coastal areas with flooding, erosion, or increased wave activity. A micromoon can cause more moderate neap tides, which can affect marine life with reduced water levels or salinity. Another effect of a supermoon is the deformation of the Earth's crust, which is also caused by the gravitational pull of the moon and the sun. When the moon is closer to Earth, its gravitational pull can stretch and squeeze the Earth's surface by a few centimeters, causing it to bulge and contract. This phenomenon is called Earth tide or body tide, and it can affect the stability of the Earth's crust, especially along fault lines or volcanic regions. Some studies have suggested that a supermoon can trigger earthquakes or volcanic eruptions by increasing the stress on the Earth's crust, but there is no conclusive evidence to support this claim. However, it is possible that a supermoon can amplify or coincide with other factors that can cause seismic or volcanic activity, such as plate tectonics, climate change, or human activity. So now you know what a supermoon is and how it happens. But there's more. The blue moon of August 30, 2023 will not be just any ordinary supermoon. It will also have a bright companion, the ringed planet Saturn. Saturn will be very close to the moon on August 30th, appearing only about four degrees away from it. This means that you can fit both of them in the same field of view of a pair of binoculars or a small telescope. Saturn will also be at opposition on August 30th, which means that it will be opposite the sun in the sky and closest to Earth for the year. This will make it shine brighter and show more details about its rings and moons. Now you may be wondering how you can observe and appreciate the blue moon and Saturn in the night sky. Well, don't worry, we have got you covered. In this section, we will give you some ideas on how to enjoy this rare and beautiful event and how to connect with the moon and its influence on our planet and our cultures. All you need is some curiosity and some creativity. Let's get started. First of all, you need to know when and where to look for the blue moon and Saturn in the sky. The blue moon will rise in the east around sunset and set in the west around sunrise. It will reach its peak fullness at 1137 UTC, which means that it will be full at different times depending on your time zone. For example, it will be full at 7.37 a.m. EDT in New York, 4.37 a.m. PDT in Los Angeles, 12.37 p.m. BST in London, 7.37 p.m. CST in Beijing, and 9.37 p.m. AST in Sydney. You can use online tools such as timeanddate.com or sunrise sunset to find out these times for your location. The blue moon will be visible from anywhere on Earth where the sky is clear and dark enough. You can use online tools such as Dark Sky Finder or Light Pollution Map to find a dark spot near you. You can also check the weather forecast for your area to make sure that the sky will be clear on August 30th. The blue moon will not be alone in the night sky as it will have a bright companion, the ringed planet Saturn. Saturn will be very close to the moon on August 30th, appearing only about four degrees away from it. This means that you can fit both of them in the same field of view of a binoculars or a small telescope. Saturn will also be at opposition on August 30th, which means that it will be opposite to the sun in the sky and closest to Earth for the year. This will make it shine brighter and show more details of its rings and moons. Secondly, you need some equipment. You don't need anything fancy or expensive to enjoy the blue moon and Saturn. You can use your eyes, a pair of binoculars, or a small telescope. If you use your eyes, you will be able to see the moon's shape, color, and brightness, as well as Saturn's position near it. 
If you use binoculars, you will be able to see more details of the moon's surface, such as craters, mountains, and seas, as well as Saturn's shape and rings. If you use a telescope, you will be able to see even more details of the moon and Saturn, such as lunar features names, Saturn's moons, and ring divisions. If you want to see them better or learn more about them, we have added some links to some of the best telescopes and resources in the video description below. Please check them out if you are interested. Finally, you need some activities or experiments. You can do many things with the blue moon and Saturn, such as photography, moon phases, or lunar eclipses. We hope you have enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this in the future. We appreciate your support and attention. Until next time, happy sky watching.